Here is the pile. There's enough here to do a couple of doors. I just need to find out what kind of glue and then I'm going to have to scrape off the old stuff and clean the metal so it'll stick properly. today I think on this door you can see maybe down in there the uh, track for the window doesn't uh, go all the way down so when I roll the window down it just kind of flops around so I'm gonna need to replace that there is a company that sells those at 72 inches which is what I need I can go down to Rock Auto and order them but they're out of stock there but I can still get them off of Amazon, or uh, no, not Amazon, uh, Summit Auto Racing. All right, so this is what I'm looking at now. I'm going to redo the weather stripping on this door. You can see it goes around here, comes around, down through here. You can see it's kind of cheese balled here. comes around, down, and around here. Let's see what it looks like underneath, and then under here. And of course, back around. We're going to replace that today. And then also replace this inside piece here see kind of where that one goes and it loops around here that's kind of weird so we're going to replace those two all today here on the chieftain show yeah haha -ha, la -la. all right you can see that there are door stoppers here in here. Uh, I had guessed there would be one down here, but apparently not. Ah, one should go there, but is not there. I'm guessing that's where a door stopper goes. About every four or five inches we've got a little embedded metal clip. Now that'll be interesting to find. I have seen that. But this isn't glued on, it's clipped on. like when they painted this thing, they painted right over the weather stripping. And here you go. You can see that little metal clip. Well, that's convenient.
most of it's gone from under here. This one looks glued. Well, look how brittle that is. You know, that's actually, I think, a plastic shield. No, maybe not, I don't know. Boy, that stuff is just solid. After scrubbing, cleaning, dousing with all sorts of cleaning chemicals, scraping and scrubbing, I've now put the new weather stripping in. I picked it up from Chevy's of the 40s, a giant coil of the stuff. 
all the way over. I just have a little bit of tape holding the two ends while they dry all the way up through that area. All right. So I've got a little chunk to put in here along this little route. And what that does is it see that little hole oh, right there. Um, that little route takes water that falls from, uh, that gets into this channel, and it funnels it along this little route down to that hole I just showed you. Right, right, oh, come on. Right over there. Oh, that's my thumb. There we go. Right there. Yeah, so it just angles it so it empties into there and empties into the door and then goes out onto the ground. All right. Well, there's replacing of that. Then tomorrow we'll do the little piece. And then the weather stripping on this side will be done. Uh, I'm going to have to get some clay or some sort of blocking compound. Because as you can see in here, it used to have like a putty, like a plumber's putty up in here that was painted and any water that comes down into this drip rail will come down in if it's caught will be this is dented in I need to dent it back out but it'll get caught and run down this channel here and then down through the inside of the door fender and outside all right well that's kind of the way the water runs So in working on the weather stripping today, I got some weather stripping from Chevy of the 40s. I bought a kit to do the doors of my old Chevy pickup, my 3800 sitting over there. And for this kind of shape, it seems to work just perfect for the Chief here. So for about $50 a pair, I can go ahead and get new weather stripping. But it seems like it's going to be intent on raining on me. So I'm going to go ahead and at least measure this out. I'm using a 3M Super Black Stripe Adhesive Blue. This stuff works very good. All right. So I'm just going to test fit this one just to get my length. I'm just going to kind of lay it in the channel or at least close to it. And then I'll cut an extra couple inches on it. There we go. Measure once, cut twice, right? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it here, just as it's starting to pour. And we'll go ahead and do gluing at another time. Ah, crap. I think my cutters are in here. All right, so I'm just gonna use a pair of dikes. Cut that. 
this little extra bit I will save because on the front driver's doors there's about a foot and a half of extra the uh, extra weather stripping that goes along the underside of the drip rail so in case water happens to actually penetrate between the door seam at the bottom and the top where that little wing window is it actually rolls into like a little tray and down but if it gets past a little tray then there's an extra little length in there to guide it to a small hole and it empties in the door all right well for now you know what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna measure this and i'll tell you how long this needs to be for a back door So you're looking at 131 inches of this stuff will do your back door. And again, you can pick this stuff up at Chevy's of the 40s. It's 25 bucks a door. So about 100 bucks will get you enough weather stripping for all four doors along with about four extra feet. All right. It only seems to rain when I want to do something. All right, I want to take a couple of seconds out to talk about adhesive. Uh, the best way to do this adhesive is to put a layer on the metal first, then a layer on your rubber piece. I'll show you how to do that. Let them get tacky for about 10 or 15 minutes and then go ahead and press them together real slow. Starting at the top of the door frame, going all the way down and around, and buttoning up at the bottom. It's a pretty common mistake for people to just go ahead and slather on a bead around the door, go ahead and let that tack, get tacky, and then put on their rubber seal after that. Um, it will hold, but not as long. Your best bet is to go ahead and put a layer all the way around the door, put some on your piece of rubber, and then let both of those get tacky and then squeeze them together. So I'll kind of demonstrate that here. There's its part number 03602. Called Super Black Weather Adhesive. This stuff works awesome. It's super, super sticky. It's great. As long as you use it properly. All right, so we're gonna pretend this is our piece of metal here. Uh, the inside weather stripping of our door. a thin bead like that. Now what you'll notice is you'll notice that I go thick on one side and thin on the other side of the bead. So when I put the, the tube down, I put it at an angle and spread it kind of like I do a putty or toothpaste. Let that get tacky. And what that does is when I press them together, It'll put more of the material on the outside facing the lip of the door. So imagine this is the outside of the door, the inside of the door, or wherever you happen to have an L-shaped lip. Usually that's what happens with other stripping. So the thicker bit will go in the, that corner of that L. All right, so I will put Super, super sticky. Right. And don't worry about being too generous. It's better to be too generous with this stuff and then wipe it off when you press them together. All right, so for this though, I just kind of munch it on. All right. So then you just take your, I would recommend maybe a section by a section. So do the top of the door first, then uh, once you're done with that section, then do one side, then the other side of the door, and then the underside. It's going to take you about an hour to do each side though, so be prepared. Uh, 
Um, it's better if you do this in a warm weather. So we can imagine this has been 15 minutes. This is tacky on this side. The mouth frame of the door is tacky. Then you just press them together. It's not terribly difficult. You can just use your finger. Just hold it for a moment or two. And then move to the next section, the next section, the next section. So the top of your door will be done first. Yep, then just do the sides of the door, the bottom of the door. And always remember to measure this stuff accurately. Cut about a half inch too long. Because you will mess up. Alright, again that's this 3M super super tacky, sticky stuff it is what you're gonna want to use. Uh, it was two or three bucks down at Wally's. You can pick this up at uh, your Home Depot at Lowe's as well for about a buck more than that. Got the blue. 